might. Oh no. Are we good? I had a connection error, but it looks like everything's working now. Hopefully. Hopefully it's working now. I feel like this lot is too big. I think I'm going to change to a smaller lot to start with. So let's see. Oh, hello! Welcome! Uh, can you hear me? I'm always terrified that my audio isn't going to work, so if you can hear me and give me a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's do... let's build here. I think this is the same place I built the last shell challenge on, so we'll go with that. Alright, cool. It's the likes I assume oh, the work audio is working. Thank you so much. Pink green tea. I wonder, is that like a thing? Is there a pink green tea? Alright, thank you very much. Um, Alright, so we are building another shell challenge for y'all today, and I thought it'd be fun to build a flamingo since you guys voted for weird shapes. So now I have to figure out how to build a flamingo. I meant to bring up some reference images, but I didn't, so I'll just go from my brain. I think I'll probably have him standing on like one leg, and it'll be a ladder to get up into the body of the flamingo. Let's start with this. So I think we can do the ye old treehouse method to just sort of get a, a floating body up there, and then grab a ladder for a leg. Might have to still grab some reference images, we'll see. Uh, what do I have to hold? Control? Control. There we go. So there's... <laughs> there's a flamingo on a leg. Alright, let's see. We need to add some curves for sure, and probably a little tail. Uh, but I can sort of fake round off the edges like this to start with. Let's see. Delete, 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 delete. Hmm. Yeah, I need some reference images. I should have brought this up first. Let's see. Okay, good. It opened in the right window, so I didn't blind you all with whatever I'm doing. Uh, Flamingo. And Google Images. And... Okay. So I've got some pictures to work from now. Um, I think, like, I just, I just want him to be just chilling. You know, classic, classic flamingo pose. You know, okay, so it looks like the tail goes down. That's good to know, and I don't know how I'm going to do the neck yet. That That's going to be tricky. But we'll start with the body. I think this is okay. I did get the leg in the middle, which looks like that's correct. Should this be medium? Perhaps. Okay, so there's a medium flamingo body. How am I going to get the head, though? This, that's going to be tricky. Okay, we'll start with this. Hmm. Because the easiest thing to do would just be to have, like, a skinny neck just going, like, straight up. I think I need to make it wider so that I can make it slightly thicker and do like a two tile by two tile so that the space can actually be used. I think that would be kind. Okay, so we'll do that. Nice. Make these tall. And I think I can only add... Can I just add one more level or will it let me add two more? Rats. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, flamingo. Flamingo's tricky, man. Because we could just do the flamingo like laying on the ground, but that's no fun either. Hmm. So I'm going to do the head then. It's just going to have to be roof pieces, I guess. Okay, let's start with a half hip roof piece. Drift piece? Maybe a hipped. Let's see. So if we start the head being like this, 
that's not big enough. Still have to figure out how to add the beak as well, which is going to be going down again. Hmm, I might have picked an impossible shape, but we're going to keep going for a couple more minutes and then we'll see if I decide to just give up and move on to something else. Ah. Uh, My brain says it's possible, the game says it's not. Because I could, in theory, grab something like this and then like bring the eaves down, but that's not, like that's not gonna work and it's clipping weird. Hmm. Yep, alright, this vision is not working. So we scrap that real fast. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find a better picture of a flamingo to work from that I still like, but that neck is giving me issues. Cause like this is oops. This one oh, where did it go? It's just gone. Oh, there we go. Okay. Like this one with the neck coming in and like the bird nesting, nesting his head there. Uh, that's just, that's too detailed. I can't do that with build pieces. I Flaming think flamingos are just too skinny. This is the same issue I ran into when I was making the rattlesnake. They're just too thin. So we could do it like laying down, but that's no fun. So what, what other animal should we try building instead? I was really hoping to do a flamingo, but that's just not going to work out properly. You guys deserve something that'll actually function. Hmm. A bear? I did think about a bear. I was thinking like, do I want to do like a, like a black bear or like, like a little teddy bear? A frog could be interesting. Do you know what else I want to do is not, well maybe today, it depends on how fast we get this put together. A dragonfly is going to be too skinny again. Um, is I'd love to do like, not a dinosaur today, because I'd like to do like a dinosaur shaped like children's museum. I think that that would be really fun to do. I think a dragonfly, because that's, I mean a dragonfly is basically just going to be, well I can, I can draw it out here. It'd be floating, which is cool, but pretty much we're going to have, like, this shape, whoops, which is not going to be terribly interesting. I mean, the wings could look cool with the stained glass or whatever, but that's pretty much a dragonfly shape, so not super exciting. Do a capybara. I've done enough capybara. I'm done with the capybara. <laughs> uh... Let's try a bear. Let's try a little teddy bear. I think we can do that. That should start with... Ooh, we can use round rooms because I keep telling myself I won't and then I do it anyway uh, to make his little, his little teddy bear butt. Okay, so we'll start with this and then we can have little legs coming out, I think, and we'll put little feet on the end of those. I think that'll be cute. Grab this to make it curved. Um, I plan on... We'll see if this works or not. Don't look. There we go. Um, I think I'll plan on doing like the review of any submissions probably not next week but the week after on a stream. Well it looks like Among Us now again doesn't it? But hopefully we're gonna have a little teddy bear. So I'm gonna build up the body with this. I think we can make this one tall. Hmm. Might have to do that one more. Oh, we still need the head though. No, the head will be fine as just one level because I can add the ears with roof pieces. Okay. So let's try. We're, we're trying to build a teddy bear. We're going to try and build a teddy bear and then we'll see how it ends up. And then I'll do um, like the. reviewing everyone's submissions and everything live in about two weeks. I'll make an announcement for it before I actually like go live or anything. Um, on the channel.
Nope, I'd actually like for you to move down a level. Oops, can you do that for me? Thank you. Nope, that is too fat. Alright, I'm going to rethink that. Could do a basement level for the feet, perhaps. Round and drill overlap from the legs to give it a belly. I think that that's a great idea as well. I think, do I still have my flamingo page up? I don't. I work better if I can actually see something. It helps my brain conceptualize the th third dimension better. Um, we could do like a little teddy bear sitting in a little box. Look at these guys. Um, that would work with the basement level. Be like a little little box that the teddy bear's sitting in. Like when you go to build a bear. <laughs> that is a chunky bear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I just want something a little, something like one of these little guys. Okay, so we can have the feet coming out. If it's in, if the legs and feet are within a basement, that will give us two levels for the body and two levels for the head. I think that will be best. So that is, that is a really great idea. So we'll start with, I'm just going to draw a gigantic basement because we can always resize this if we need to. I'll make you medium. Okay, so there's a little box. Sorry if this is an asteroid, but you're a Supernatural fan. Yes, you've you've pieced together the Sam and Bean, Sam and Dean, haven't you? Now, can we actually put rounded rooms in the basement or not? I don't know. Oh, we need to give them a little tail too, though. A little a little round tail. Ah, oh, can. Fantastic. For some reason, I thought we couldn't do round rooms in a basement, but this this is going to be good. Okay, so we're going to give them a little tail, and then this will go onto the rest of the body, which I might just stick with more of a rectangular shape to start with. Concerned about the little teddy bear crotch area, but we'll see how, where's that, that there. Okay, we're gonna start with that for his little legs, I think. Um, and then I'd like to build a ceiling, there we go. Because we can do his little toes with one of these guys that way. We'll do it round this way instead. Uh, shift C for the extra curve controls. 10 out of 10 do recommend. Okay, well, it's a rough shape, but it'll, it'll go right. Can we do two levels in the basement? So the issue with the second level in the basement is last time I tried to do this, I couldn't actually delete the ceiling of that room. Like when I, oops. When I click on it and go up and remove the ceiling, it won't actually, like, show properly. It's kind of showing okay now. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It didn't work very well last time I tried this for a different uh, build. It was, it was rough. Okay, so there's, there's the teddy bear. There's <laughs> button legs so far. I guess I do want a ceiling on these. Ah, darn. Okay, well... So this is going to be a bit of an issue. Can I grab a do, 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 rounded platform? And then if I lower it... Ah, rats. What if I leave it up? Hmm. What if I move you, select you, remove the ceiling, and then turn on the grid, and then put the platform on top, and then lower it? Ha-ha! Crack the code. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hi, obsessed with your videos, don't think you've joined a live. Hi, I'm not live very often because I refuse to go live when there's a small child in the house. That just feels like a really stupid idea. Um, but sometimes when he's at school, I have the opportunity to go live. So that's what we're doing today. We are building a teddy bear because I said I wanted to do another shell challenge when we hit 50,000 followers here on TikTok. Thank you again, by the way, for everyone who joined. Um, and then I completely forgot about it. So we're 55,000 now, but we're building a little teddy bear and I want him to be a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna bring this out. So I don't know if that'll actually... Okay, that will adjust. Fine. Fine and dandy. How did I twist that roof? This one? Uh, so if you're on PC, you can hold Shift C and then you get extra curve controls. That's what these little ball things are. 10 out of 10 recommend doing that. And hey, for those of you who are on console, can you do that? I don't think so with the console. If you can, I haven't figured it out or nobody um, else has helped me be able to figure it out. But 
uh, you can still attach a keyboard to your console and you can do it that way. Um, do you want this? Oh, I rotated one without placing it down. Um, oh, when I was doing it over here. Okay, so this was just a platform and you can rotate anything with the comma and period keys on your keyboard. Well, I think everything. Not 100% sure on that, I guess, but 99% sure. Can explain how to delete a roof. A roof or a ceiling. So those are two different things. Uh, okay, and we're doing two levels for the body. I, I again might make him a little bit chunkier or bring his little tummy out a little bit further. See about that. Just doing rough draft pretty much at this point, but this is going so much better than the flamingo. This is a much better idea. The very top roof. Um, like the ceiling part for this, you just click on it, and then the round yellow or the bo the yellow border around the top, uh, you click remove ceiling. So that'll build and remove the ceiling. For basement build for basement rooms, you have to go down a level and then go back up to build or remove the ceiling. Um, but that's that's that. Okay, now we have to do his little face. And remember, this is sort of what we're working from. So the first level of the face will have his little nose coming out. Then we'll have the second level of the face and then do little round ears on top with roof pieces is the goal. All right, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss. I think we were just talking about the roof, so I think we're good. Okie dokie, so roofs, ceilings, um, little chubby face. Oh, this should actually be in a little bit, I guess. Maybe? Because we still have to figure out his arms. I'm not thinking about arms right now, I'm thinking about a nose. Uh, the head should be... Start the head like this. Is it three tiles? No, we have a four tile center. Okay. Do we? Well, that's not right. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's two. It is four. Why is my brain dying? Four. Okay, and I'm gonna go out two back. Two. Well, that one worked. Okay, thank you very much. Um, oh no, I do want this back a little bit further. Okay, and then one last room on top, and then we're s we'll see how we're sitting. Using the basement was definitely the the idea of the day. I think it's not terrible, but we definitely have some adjustments to do. I'm going to go ahead and expand this basement just as far as I can, um, because why not? Also, thinking ahead, where would the front door go, do you suppose? <laughs> you know, just out of curiosity. You're seeing the vision? Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad someone is. Okay, so we still gotta figure out the arms. I don't really want to do the arms like straight out like zombie bear, but uh, I don't know. Oh, actually, while people are here and we're sort of talking about the roof, grab a half hip roof piece, rotate it so that the gable portion is facing forward, and then with the shift C controls, you can get a little curve going, and there's your teddy barrier. So that's how you do like um, animal ears and stuff. I also like to bring the eaves out a little bit on the front. I think it can do it. There we go. And you can color the inside like pink or whatever, but that is... That's how we're going to do the teddy bear ears, I think, because I can't really make them wrap around the head. We don't have anything like that, especially since I want this to be as plain a shell as possible, so you guys can do whatever the heck you want. Um, within reason, obviously. If I make this tall, will that be okay, or is that bad? I might have to make it a little bit wider. Alright, mission, widen the bear. Three and just two. Oh no. Are these? These are not the same. How wide are you? You are four. You are five. I like the five. Okay. And then we'll make this part wider. And I also want to make it deeper. Not too deep, because then it's just going to be impossible to furnish and everything. You know, get a, getting a floor plan on builds that are just too deep can be difficult. Okay, we'll start there. Oh, oh that's right, I have to move this. Okay, 
I see there are comments coming in, but I'm focused, so I will talk to you again in just a second after I figure out the rest of this little body. Then does his head have to be bigger? Hmm. See, now maybe he's too wide. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> Staircase to the mouth. Delicious. <laughs> You're just gonna be a snack. Hello, Pancake. Welcome. A front door into the basement? I guess so. I just- that's weird. A bridge to the tail and a door- oh, that sounds really cute, too, actually. Probably the feet? I think the feet would be fun. Especially if you decided to, like, split it into two townhouses. <laughs> like, you know, so you have one entrance here and one entrance here. That'd be really fun. Um... Hmm. I think the arms are going to help a lot. I just have no idea how I'm gonna pull that off. We're gonna have to have a shoulder. Well, that can be a platform. Or a roof. So we can do that. Are the stairs gonna be in the arms? That would be great. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh yeah, I guess I should... Mm, I don't know. It's going to be... It's going to be a shell challenge. It's gonna be a challenge for sure. We'll see if we do floor plan or if I'm just gonna leave that up to you guys. But I'll make sure that it's reasonable. Like, it's going to be possible to actually pull together. Uh, this little guy has his arms sort of down by his sides, curving forward a little bit. Um, you have to leave, but you don't see your ID. Okay, so EA ID is Sam and Bean, all one word, so you can find me on the gallery. It's the same little, like, logo and everything. Um, I'll see if I can connect here before you have to go. And we're going on a journey. There it is. So there's... There's me. There I be. Uh, so it's Sam and Bean, same logo and everything. And look! The Gothic Revival Treehouse, which has not gotten the attention it's deserved. That's That was a really fun build. So, there I am. Um, I will make an announcement video here on TikTok as well when this is like up and everything. And again, I'll go over the builds on live in two weeks. Two Wednesdays from today. Okay, so... Actually, I think this is turning out pretty great. Um... What if, what if we pulled these in a little bit? Maybe? Okay. Still need to do the arms. Oh, we'll definitely be using some roofs to do, um, to do some of the, like, curves and stuff. Now I'm thinking about his head. I think I'm gonna pull it back just a wee bit here. Okay. I just wanted to do these particular roofs to begin with so that we could have sort of a vision. Um, but now I need to do the arms. I think we should be able to start like this on either side and we'll just have them have little shoulder roof pieces like shoulder pads. I think that matches. I didn't see it, didn't see what. Um, then where do I want your arms to be? Like coming out to the side? Maybe? There we go. Um, bigger ears. Perhaps. I have enlarged pretty much everything, so we might make the ears larger as well. I think I need to go down and see if this is actually lining up properly. I think it is. Oh, no, this has to come out a little bit. There's a start to arms. I don't really like that. He looks like a robot. Um, are the arms able to be round? Maybe, kind of, sort of, a little bit. I definitely don't like these. Are you thinking, like, with the round rooms? What are we building? We are building a teddy bear. Obviously, because that's what one does on a Wednesday afternoon on TikTok, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> okay, um, if we have this... Hmm. <laughs> and a little, little bit of arm coming out this way, and a little bit more arm here. Do we want the round rooms again? Copy, 
show take place. It's a little, it's definitely a little bit less. I thought we were making a pig. I thought about it. I genuinely thought about making a little pig in a mud puddle, but then I was like, I don't know. It just, it didn't, the vision didn't feel complete. Um, see now would be a good example of how adding a roof piece can really start to bring the shape together. So we bring this in, in eaves, we're going to pitch this up, but then just curve it a little bit here. Actually, oh, not both of them, just the one. Where we can start getting this to like curve. Oh yes, I do definitely want to make the snout rounded as well. This is, this is pretty much what we're doing here is the creative process of starting a build and then uh, so this is like, this is still like the blue and red sketch lines. This isn't even the final sketch lines, you know? Okay, but this is, this is a roof trying to help round things out. Now with this, I would prefer that be tucked in a little bit, but I can't do a roof in the opposite direction. So that's, that's a little bit of an issue there. That or we could make his arms like wrapping around the front and have him be holding something. Is it a cat-shaped build? It is not, but you could make it a cat if you wanted to, probably by like just pointing the ears a little bit. That'll help the cat look a little bit more cat-like. What if... Do we have like a little... I want to keep it base game. But do we have like a heart or something that he could hold? You know, like the... the no, we don't have one. Do, do a, a big old ribbon. For such, for such a, a winning bear. We don't... Hmm. <laughs> I'm distracted. It's fine. We don't have... Oh, the pot I was thinking, thinking of is city living, so that's not going to work either. Anyway, so we can have his arm like that. Or I'll do a second option on the other side, and then we can vote which one we like better. Still going to start with the round room, because that definitely helps up top. Uh, we'll bring you out. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. This one. There we go. see comments coming in through the corner of my eye, but once again, I'm way too focused to pay attention to you, so. Um. So it could be, or it could be something like this, where we have like arms coming around. Uh, that feels a little high, but I don't have another level I could use for his neck, so. He could hold, let's see. Teddy uh, bear, have him hold the front door. <laughs> that could be fun. Um, used a bow. Do we have a bow? I we'll have to look at that. Is this the Meet the Robinson House? Meet the Robinson's House. It's not, but boy, would that be a build challenge. There is a bow. I will look for a bow. You could hold another bear. Um, I don't think I can make another bear any smaller than this and have it be remotely like recognizable as a bear, but I appreciate. Is it in the um the holiday stuff? Because holiday stuff is free. I wouldn't be against using that. Oh, this. Oh, we definitely need to use this. Absolutely. Absolutely the man needs a bow. Okay. It is a bear. Um, I was looking at wrapping, would it be in kids' decorations, wrapping the arms around the front so that it was holding a heart, um, like, is it a parenthood bear? No, nope, see now there are too many things on the screen again. I thought there was like a little, a little decoration, this. I was thinking about trying to have the arms wrapping around to the front like this, but it's not, it's not working so great. Okie dokie. The bow is adorable. We'll definitely do the bow. 
Um, do we want to try and work with an arm wrapping around like this? He almost looks like he's laughing at us. Um, or are we going to work with the arm coming down to the side? I would size up a Blarfy, but I don't... Hang on. I could size up a little Blarfy for him to hang out with. However, one of the issues with that is these guys, you can still interact interact with them when they're huge, but it's it's a <laughs> it's a creepy experience. <laughs> Arm coming down to the side looks like it is winning, or a bear from Nifty Knitting. So I yes, okay. Arms coming down. I'm just going to make the shell base game, but this is a shell challenge, so any of you who want to participate are more than welcome to do so. I will include more details about that. Basically, it's just it's just a shell challenge. I'm going to upload this to the gallery, I'll tell you what hashtag to use, and it'll be a grand time. I swear. Uh, there. Here. And then these. And then we'll grab this to go over here as well. Oop. There we go. And it is just on a 20 by 30 lot. I think his feet need to be bigger. But bigger how? I want them to be a little bit wider, but then it's gonna... I guess it's okay if it runs into the side of the box. You shouldn't think the shoulders are still too wide? Uh, possibly. Think about that in a second. I'm, I want to work on the feet. I don't think this is going to look how I want it to look, but I'm going to pretend it's going to work, and then I'll be proven wrong. Eh, yeah, no. I do like the legs a little bit longer, though. Um, the shoulders, we will work on them a little bit more with roof pieces again, too, and then we'll see. I wish I had a little bit more to work with for a neck, but I don't know that that's... Yeah, that's not going to be possible. I'd have to have so many levels. Um, let's see. How's our, how's our back end looking? It's alright. Don't think I'm too concerned about back here. We've got this little tail going on, so that's good. Where else do I need to add roof pieces? Let's see. Grab some circles for his little paws. Games. <laughs> the beefed up bear gym. That would be that would be fun. Uh yes. Okay. So I'm gonna try and see how many roof pieces I can start adding to just help the shape make a little bit more sense. And then before I'm done, I will probably color some things as well. That might help. Okay, so there we've got a little round paw. He has little back rolls. <laughs> He's a fluffy boy. Okay. So they're, so they're, like, now we have round paws, right? They're still, uh, really big, but it's something. And plus, if you guys don't like the roof pieces, you could totally just get rid of them. Uh, but the walls have to stay, obviously. How is this going to work? Oh, like that. Well, that wasn't the worst thing ever. Okay, I don't want this to be too tall, but we can raise it a little bit. Give them little shoulder pads. Your sim would love this. Do you have a bear, or a sim who's into little bears? I don't have a name for the bear. <laughs> Blarfy Senior. <laughs> He's a big one. If somebody does this up like Winnie the Pooh, I would be forever grateful. Uh, oh, that's going to have to be a half hip roof piece, isn't it? Round out the tail? Oh, definitely. 
Definitely have lots of lots of rounding to do. Let's see if I can get this piece to line up tolerably well. I think that's that's eh, all right. It's not like my best work ever. Let's see. That's a little bit better. Okay, I like having that closed off there. Okie dokie. So here's his little arms. A treacherous villain who loves all things cute. It sounds fantastic. Uh, this is going to have to be with the small round rooms, which seems to be primarily what we're using. These can be really difficult to finish in. Uh, too bad, so sad. It's a teddy bear. <laughs> Deal with it. Okay, so this is how that would look if we rounded it off. Is that going to be bad? Yes, this is a teddy bear. Working on a little teddy bear. Alright, do we like the round nose? Okay, cool. I'm tempted to move them to a larger lot just so that I could make some things a little bit different, but I don't think in the end it's going to be worth- oops, a daisy. Let's make sure your skull's the right size there, buster. Okay, um, do we need- I push? That went wrong. Okay. No? What did I do? Maybe I just need this one. There we go. Ooh, I kind of like that better. Use the wall stud thing for the butt. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. This? This one, I think? That's... Hmm... Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me go back to... Well, I'll keep the holiday stuff in there. We might find something good in there. Well, the base game. I mean, you guys, again, you can add whatever you want for his nose. This might actually be a decent nose. It's alright. Uh, do we need to add, add eyes? I guess eyes would be windows. You guys can add those. Because that's, <laughs> that's wrong. Uh, I thought there was a bigger round one in the base game. Oh, there is. There. Not spooky at all. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, what else were we working on? Now, did I want to round off the head anymore? I don't know. Let's let's do the tail. Let's make a little tail a little fluffier here, which should be as simple as just adding a little one of those. The half round windows for eyes? Ooh, like a little smile. That'd be cute. Do I have half round windows in the base game? I don't think I do, so you guys will have to change those out if you want to. I'll just leave them mildly disturbing for now. I think I want maybe to adjust some of this though. I'm just gonna pull this in a little bit and see how I feel about it. No. I would actually just... Why is this not a room? There we go. Mildly disturbing is exactly your type. I'm concerned about you. Or for you. I think I'm concerned for you at that point. Um... Well, this is just delightful. Let's see if I can, there we go, get the ceiling tiled back. Should we do this and have a little tummy? You're a functioning member of society. You know what, so am I, technically. But also here we are on the internet, building teddy bears, so. Make the head bigger. Are we thinking, like, deeper? Do you think that would help? Uh, that's not what I want to happen, though. That kind of looks like Chuck E. Cheese. No, I don't want to fence some of this. Well, that way we can bring his ears forward a little bit more. Um... 
You can make them a little bit bigger, but if I go too big, it's just going to look like a little fox or a cat or something. The head is tall and the bottom is... Do you mean this one? I don't like that. That frightens me. It could definitely turn into a fox pretty quickly. I think that if we wanted to do a fox, we'd pull the snout out a little bit more. Um, and of course, adjust the tail situation. Oops, I need this key. There we go. Terrifying and impressive. Yes, I think both of those would sum this project up nicely. He's a chubby little boy, but I like it. Oh, that's right. I was wondering if I wanted to do anything on the head still. I feel like I probably don't want to risk it, but we can try. Give him a little, make him a little hat, that'd be cute. Just a little, just a little something up there, you know. Can I round his belly? Uh, I don't, I don't know if that will work out very well. I mean, I could do like a little bit of a roof piece up here, but as far as the walls go, that would be another one of these, I believe. Well, maybe. Wait. Brain, my brain is braining. See if it brains good or not. No, that's not where I wanted that. Here. No, I, kind of, I don't know. I think it looks like a beer belly at that point. <laughs> We're going to bring it back to where it was. Uh... I don't even know if a curve is going to do anything if just the one tile is showing. Mm, yeah, because that makes the arms start to look too connected. How big are those rooms? Nope, I don't like that. There we go. might look really rough on the inside, but it might look... I'll have to fix the ceiling a little bit better. It might look okay. If I rebuild this... No, it's still angular. Well, that's just delightful. Um... We like them like this. Room and furniture placement will be hazardous with so many curves. Yes, but <laughs> that's why it's a challenge. And remember, this isn't me doing the challenge. This is you guys doing the challenge. Um, nope. Let's move you to be there. Nope. All right, come on. Well, that's a unique look. Let's try this again. I'll go through and redraw as many of the walls as I can as well to ensure that it's actually moderately... <laughs> moderately playable. Uh, which involves this right here. This little... What is this? 
not a trapezoid, rhombus. That will go away. I might have to remove the ceilings if we want to have a moderately appropriately curved area. I can't add platforms on top of it is the issue because of the other, just the way that the game works because it's all grid based. But we'll keep thinking. Alright, do we like the round tummy better than the flat tummy? He's definitely very round. The eyes are really freaking me out, man. <laughs> yes? Okay. Round tummy for life. <laughs> well, here we go then. The people have spoken. Okay. Well, his little teddy crotch is kind of stuck way down here now. We might have to pull that out a little bit. I don't mind the tummy overhanging a little bit, but I think I think that'll be a little better. And now his legs are short again. I've been fixing the legs the whole gosh darn time. Oh, we might have to scooch the whole bear back a wee bit. Oh, you know what I just realized? I shouldn't be using these. I should be using these for his little feet. There's some little toes. Use the domed windows for cartoon eyes. There are going to be a lot of really fun eye options for you guys, but because this is a challenge, I'm personally just going to be uploading it with, um, with like just the base game stuff. But I think that, let's see, I know Cats and Dogs has a, this one. Right, so if you wanted like a little happy bear, you could do these, right, for a little smile. That could be cute. Um, even just this looks slightly less disturbing than the other ones, I think, because it doesn't have those weird bits sticking out on the side. Um, yeah, there are definitely a lot of options for, for teddy bear eyes in the window menu. But I'm going back with just the free things for you guys today. Oh, that's what I was in the middle of, was fixing this issue. Uh, the floor, the floor should stay, so I should be able, Ooh, this is gonna be rough, guys. Okay, this is risky. Nope, that was long. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> no! Uh, so that would cover it from the front, but then it sticks out of the back, so we'd have to make them a little bit thicker if we wanted to do that. The little feet remind you of hobbit holes. That's a hobbit bear. Okay, well, let's just, let's give ourselves, I think, two more tiles to work with. This is going to be a very large, very large bear. And I know that big open spaces like this can be difficult, but given how many round walls y'all are going to have to deal with on the upper floors, maybe you'll be thankful for a very boring basement level. Or you could just do like a pool or something. Yeah, I'll definitely be going in and redrawing as many walls as I can to give you guys the best shot possible. But now I can bring this back and, well, I mean, I have to redraw everything, but let's see. Wall, whoop, wall, wall, wall. Yes, aha. And the roof shouldn't be clipping in. Oh, what did I hit? I went to hit escape, but apparently I hit something else. Build a backrest instead of making the bear thicker. Put him in like a little, just a little seat. Need the space. Didn't, they yeah, had the furniture and the wet round walls. I understand like from a programming perspective why the game works the way that it does with the grid system. Like I get it cognitively in my brain. However, my heart is still very upset. <laughs> okay, well this is just delightful. This should be a complete room, so I'm not entirely sure why the roof is clipping in. Very disappointing. Let's delete it and try again. You never know. That could be that 
could be the solution. Nope. Well, isn't this just delightful? Okay, well... Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep thinking about that one. Is the roof open on the higher level? This one is. Um, because if I put the ceiling back, then it's all, like, weird on the edge. Am I gonna have to... The ceiling's not, though. I am perplexed. Can I just place a floor? I can't, because the round... It's just the way that the round stuff works. Um, I don't know why it's like that, but it is... Basically, here, I can kind of show you here. If I, like, put my mouse over it, see that this shape here? So instead of being on a grid, the round tiles are this shape, so this whole thing is round tiles, so I can't just, like, place a floor piece down, it'll clip, I don't know, it's weird. I don't appreciate it. I'm so glad that they add round walls, but they're such a headache. Uh, do I only stream on TikTok? No, I stream on TikTok a couple times a month, and I try to stream on YouTube once a month as well, but, like, having, um, a small child around, I just don't stream a bunch because you never know what a small kid is going to do and that's just not good internet safety. So I don't stream a lot, but I split it between TikTok and YouTube. I'll be live on YouTube this weekend though. We're going to do the every room is a different random size challenge. That'll be fun. So if you'd like to see me cry some more, <laughs> join us there. Uh, maybe a fake round room like how I used to do round, but it has sides. That's true, Monday for upwards. I don't know. Because again, with the walls, it still has to be on, like, this tile, so that doesn't remove our tile issue. And since this tile will not fit, oopsie, in this tiny sliver of space, that's why that won't, that's why that won't work. That's why the math ain't mathin'. No, he's so cute, though. The round walls are growing on me, and now I don't want to go back. The roof, though. How about, I'm gonna go through, and I'm going to redraw all of the rooms and then try and roof again and see whether or not that solves, remotely solves, any of our issues. It's just starting from the ground floor up. Because this should, this is just going to have to be, whoop, like that. Hmm, yeah, cause see now it's being weird again. Nope, that is a platform. There we go. Also, if I gave him a backrest, I don't know if that would work with our little tail. I hope that they fix the round wall issues with uh, future games. I mean, I don't think the Sims franchise is exactly going to die anytime soon. So I think really, really hope that they'd be able to sort that out. No, it's just gonna keep... Well, what if... What if I get rid of these walls? Oh, now I've just clipped through everything. Well, okay, that backfired. Bound and determined to get you sorted here, pal. Wait, is this... When did I do that? Okay, well, now the platform is all the same level. This room is still being weird. Okay, well, now it's just clipping into the round room, but it's not clipping into the main room. I think that we can work with this a little bit better. Um, maybe this will just be contraband. It will when Life by You comes out. I'm excited for Life by You. I personally, I'm a huge like graphics person and I really don't like what they've done so far with the graphics. I am a bit skeptical, but aside from that, I am a big fan of anything that gives The Sims competition. For sure. And plus, you know that I will always pick up another challenge of learning a new game to build houses, so. I feel like I need like a 
a default style that I always need to build in any new game that comes out. I don't think teddy bear should be that style. Probably craftsman bungalow is what it's going to be. Why are you not correct, though? This should be correct. Sir. Okay, because this... Oh, it's because we have the gap in the middle. Okay, never mind. It's me. I was actually the problem this whole time. There. Um... Raise or lower the platform to clip through. I think the platform was the issue. What game is this? This is The Sims 4. The base game is free. This will be a base game only build. Of course, there are literally, I think, thousands of dollars, depending on your currency worth of paid DLC, though. You've been on Second Life? Still, some of the chronic creatures' graphics might get better. We'll see. I'm just make the dreaming over. Yes, yeah, so I pulled, pulled the eaves out, so we'll see if this goes. It's definitely doesn't have much of a neck, but given how many fat rolls this guy has, I think that's fair. Hey look, a bonus wall. Okay, uh, let's go back in. So this room is fine. This one we've still got some clipping issues. This, ooh, this isn't registering as a room anymore. Yes it is. Could just <laughs> cover, <laughs> cover the roof of the platform. That would be interesting. But I think, oh, that's the wrong key again. There we go. I think everything else is mostly working okay. Uh, there is this issue, but that's because of terrain. I'm going to put you to the side and come back for you in a second, because I think this will help if I start placing some of these flat floor pieces in here. Um, it's just going to delete these round rooms temporarily. Or it won't delete them at all, it'll just pretend to. Okay, fine. That should help with this little situation here. Huzzah! I'll bring you back. Okay, well, there's still a little... Why? See this? This is what I don't understand. You just delete an anger and then redraw? I mean, fair enough. Getting to that point with this set of round rooms in particular. Well, I'm gonna keep... I guess I'm gonna do it again. And just hope and pretend that it's going to fix anything. Okay, and you. And you again. Nope, actually I'd like that. Well, this side it fixed. I don't know why it's not fixing this side. Did I accidentally mess with platforms in here? I don't think so. This one's just being dumb. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. It's great. But that's just sort of what you get when you start building crazy, is you end up with, um, just quirks. We'll call them quirks. We'll go with quirks. <laughs> Throw a bush over it and call it good? Amen. <laughs> that is, that's a solution for half the building issues. Put it in the closet. No, we spend so much time on them. I still feel like the feet are wrong, but I don't know why the feet are wrong. Can anybody tell me why the feet look wrong? I'm wondering if they're not wide enough, but like, what do I do? Do I just make the whole leg wider? Turn the roof around on the feet. That would be like that. That'll have his toes bending up backwards. Maybe make the roof shorter. Smaller feet? 
I think the legs are rectangles, but we made him round. He's very round. I can't do, like, inside curves. I could make his little feet round, but then I don't know if the roof situation would work. I'll make this one round, and then we'll vote again. It'll be the same small round walls, though, which are just everybody's favorite to work with all the time. Oh, I need the little platforms again. Where did I, where did I get that? Rounded platform? I think this is what I used. Yeah. And then, nope, I'm not building the ceiling. Okay, so that's how he'd look with little round feet instead. But then we can't really put like, actually, wait a minute, the bush, the bush idea. <laughs> Except it's a roof. It's definitely gonna clip, but that's fine. Who cares? I care. Okay. So I could give him little round legs like that. Or little upturned toes like that. Why didn't I just drag the platform? Uh, I needed it to be round on both sides. So if I just drag it across, it'd still be angular on the one side. Okay, so round. I don't like how this is overhanging, but I have the one tile there, so I have to. It has to, has to be. I like, I think that this, okay. Overall, with the shape of the build, this one makes more sense. I think that I like the toes turned up. I wish that there was a way we could balance it, but I can't have upturned toes on the round. Like, it just doesn't... it doesn't mesh. You know? Paint will bring the toes together. Okay, so we're gonna keep working on the toes then. I don't want to delete all of this. I just, I just need these to go away. Okay, okay. Nope. What if I do you? Huzzah! All right. You guys, I'm a professional. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, I like not having those eyes staring at me. Now as far as little little toe beans goes, I don't know what we have. We could maybe use these, except it's not really big enough. We'd have to do a, let's see, what we'd have to do, we'd have to page down, put the walls down, scale it up, raise it up, and alt place. Oop. Mmm. Yep, nope, it's that's not gonna work. We could do windows for the toes as well, I suppose. I was hoping for something round and wall decorate-y. Decorations! We don't have any decent round mirrors in the base game though, of course. Uh, light switches, obviously. Mm, that's not gonna be wide enough. Okie dokie. I think, actually, is it do, 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 cats and dogs? Nope. There we go. I think they have they have like little paw print stickers, but I don't know that they have a single like paw print, which would be really nice. There's a paw print rug, but I don't have tools, so I'm not going to be doing that. The half round window has the triangles dividing it. Um, 
Again, I'm just going to be using base game. Also, if you want your build to show up in its entirety, I do have the list of all the packs that I own um, linked in my website, which is linked through the bio. So if you want to enter the contest and have your build actually show up completely, you'll, you will need to stick within those packs. I'm not rich enough to have everything. Ah, okay, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm gonna just going to drag this up so that it matches a little bit better. I think I want to paint it next and see if anything else needs to be adjusted. Overall, I mean, considering this is the first teddy bear I've ever built in The Sims 4, I don't think it's terrible. Tuck that in. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Do we have a good brown base game roof texture? Because the thatch roof texture would be fantastic from Cottage Living. You're smooth, but you don't come in brown. Do we even have brown in general? We have this. That's not really very brown. This. Ugh. No. It's kind of sandy. Maybe a little gold. A little gold bear. Straw would look kind of like fur. It would. I don't like the base game straw roof texture though. I hate it. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> like, I guess it kind of looks like that, like, um, tiny little, tiny, tiny little curly sort of fabric that you can get on some of your bears, like a build a bear or whatever. I don't remember what the actual fabric itself is called. I also need to get something that I can match fairly decently with wallpaper, so. Trial and error, it will be. Oh, actually, that's, that's pretty close. Cool. I'm gonna start with this. Uh, yeah, getting a different diff different colorings for um, like a black bear or a grizzly bear, all those different color patterns would be fun. Uh, I'm gonna have to go down to the basement level to fix some of those. Oh, I guess I should put a floor back. That's good. And then, oops. Is that all? Is it painted on the inside? No. Okay. Those walls don't really do very much except add to the shape of the bear. Um, and pink for the ears. Pink, pink, pink. Like a like a good teddy bear pink. Okay, so this is brown so far. Um, yes, definitely going to grab that bow. I think next up is roof trim. Oh no, so I need to find a floor color. I went on a whole rant in Discord. I think actually several weeks ago now, I lose track of time quickly, um, complaining about the swatch method that The Sims has and explaining how it's really not that difficult <laughs> like to come up with a color palette and then stick with it so that your game is cohesive. Um, but nobody's going to hire me to develop a game anytime soon, so I just have to sit on that. Inlaid exterior trim just for under his little chin there, I think would be good. find a floor color that remotely wants. Yeah, I just, I don't understand, like, if I want a mid-tone green, why are there eight different mid-tone greens? There should be a mid-tone cool, and a mid-tone warm, and maybe a mid-tone neutral, but that's three at the most. I don't need a thousand different green options, and none of them actually work well together. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I would like to go to dark, is this a dark brown? It's a mid-brown. That's all right. Uh, galvanized metal carpet glamour turf stained concrete it's a 
pretty close. I think that one's a little bit better though. I don't have to do the whole the whole yard too. Well not the whole yard. Just this little bit of grass. There we go. Okay, so that's there's my little brown teddy bear. You guys can repaint or whatever. That's that's totally totally grand. Where was that bow? That was just base game though, right? The wall decoration. Yeah. Aww. All right, we have to go with the red bow just because my first ever teddy bear had a giant red bow, so we're gonna go with that. Adorable. Let's see. Oh, rats! This one has a baseboard. Okay, well, back back to the beginning then. Guess I'll just guess I'll go with that. Oh, we have to finish up this little, um, oh, I don't want the floor there. What should he be sitting on? No, I don't want to delete that. There we go. <laughs> I'm fine. Can you see yellow for the bow? Or for the ears? Either way would be cute. Uh, so we've got, like, the pale yellow or the, like, the gold. Let's do a little gold bow and a little gold. Adorable. Actually, I like the idea of the bow and the ears matching. I think that's really cute. Uh, what should he be sitting on, though? Should it be like carpet, like in a kid's room? Because we all know that we love carpeted outdoors. A little honey bear. <laughs> He's so cute. I like, actually really like the yellow combination better. I think a red bow is just like classic, but since I can't get the ears the way I want them, love me some moldy carpet. I know, right? Um, I think that'll work fine. Why are you white? Is that me missing roof trim or is that a, the game having issues? Also, what color did I even use? What? Is it this one? No. What? have I done to myself? Oh, there we go, this one. Okay, cool. No, on this side I did. A giant bear is already insane, let's just go for broke, right? Black windows for eyes? Probably. <laughs> uh, I think... Oh, it's so cute. This turned out really well. Thanks for all the help. This was this was a fun little project. I will put some eyes back. Unfortunately, I do not have great base game eye options, I feel, personally, in my soul. Because these just stare into my soul. <laughs> they, make, they make me nervous. Oh yeah, let's just have glowing eyes, Heather. That's great. Uh, at least lights we can size up and down, though. that be, is that miscellaneous? No. Is that outdoor? No. Is it just under wall lights? Aqua glow pool light. Is this what you want, Heather? That's what you wanted. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. And he will not leave presents under your tree. He will eat you. Wasn't well, this just delightful? Uh, okay, um, somebody said big arched windows, like in a cartoon, and I think I get the vibe you're running with there. I don't think these are gonna work. I think that they're- I don't know. It's, um, like, uh, uh no, thank you.
I'm still here. I'm just looking stuff up. Rats. Okay, I thought... I thought Yogi's eyes were like the arches, but they're actually ovals, which I don't have. Alright, anyway. It's just... Ah, uh, these are just spooky, man. I think these are probably going to be a little bit better. You know what? F5. Let's get some better placement on these. If I leave it down, can I find something for eyebrows? There, now he has eyebrows. This is way less creepy than those round ones. I don't know what's with those round ones, but that was just, that was just disturbing. Okay, there is going to be a bit of a gap here. That's due to a game glitch that I can't control. It's going to either be that or this, and I prefer that. So that's what we're going with. I like the little eyebrows. I think the eyebrows are fun. Oh yeah, let's still add the glowing eyes, shall we? Actually, it probably won't be quite as spooky. Or it'll be more spooky. Do I have... wait, are any of these like yellow? Or at least warm? I'll try these. Oh, that's not nearly as creepy. He's just a friendly little guy. You barely noticed. You're hilarious. Alright, I think that's pretty cute. Alright, what's the <laughs> next question? What is going to be the hashtag for this one? That way we can find them all. Let's see, do we want to do morning? I think the morning makes them look quite warm and cuddly. A giant coffee mug in his paws. Do I? Oh, the only way I'm going to get a coffee mug is through debug. That is a lot of searching. Beefed up bear. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was still trying to hunt for something I could use for little toes. In the base game specifically and not into debug because I have limits. Where is the front door going though? That is a, that is up to you. Um, that is up to you. See I don't feel like that's gonna work either. Do anything in miscellaneous? Not really. Yeah, not really. I do forget that this is actually just in the game, though. I mean, I still prefer building my own, but it's there. It'd be a cute toy store. Ooh, that would be fun. Also a little bit scary, but you know. The half round windows with the triangles. I don't think those, those are base game, though. If I have them. I just have this one from Cats and Dogs. Yeah, we, I mean, we could go back for full spook vibes with this thing, but actually, I think I will scoot it back a lot, little bit on the lot. It wouldn't be like the worst little foot. It's not base game, but build toes. Okie dokie, I'm going to... Uh, I am going to save. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, do you hear the bird? Yeah, I actually, I closed the window closer to me, but they are being incredibly loud today. So even though the next window open is all the way over in the dining room, we can still hear them. But they're all outside, I don't have any birds inside. Uh, so we are building a teddy bear. You're not going- well, you might be going crazy, but it's not because of that. Alright, I like- what? What? Who? Who are you? And why are you here? I don't want you here. <laughs> this is very unfortunate. Uh, what's the old trick? Do we just draw a room around it and then delete it and hope that- oh, it went away. No? What level are you on? You're on this level. Oh, that makes total complete sense. 
just hang on guys I'm having a crisis I think this is going to solve that problem nope I don't know where this is coming from not coming from that I don't know I do not know Is it the bow? I don't think so, because if I like move the bow away, it's still there. That was my first thought. It's something to do with this room, and it's not this either, because if I get rid of that, it's fine. I could try rebuilding the room. It's not that difficult of a shape. So we're gonna grab... Nope, it's still there though. Does it have something to do with this? I don't know, it just, it's decided to be there now. I can't select it with like the hammer tool and it's, when I have the grid on it, it shows that it's part of this level, but there's like nothing there. And I tried drawing a room over it, which made it go away temporarily. But then when I delete the room, it comes back. Like, remove the floor. Nope. Nope. This one. Alright, floor didn't work. Ceiling also not working. That would be too darn convenient. I think that we can actually fit stairs in here, though. Did it just appear after I saved, or did it appear after I moved the lot? Because I think it appeared after I moved the lot. So if I go down here, it's not there anymore. So it has something to do with this. If I move the lot again. Yep, it's still there, but it's in the same spot. It's stuck. Definitely some sort of glitch. Uh, let me... Saving as Aurora Simsy shell, that, that was a while ago. I'm gonna put this in my library and move to a different lot and then place it and see if it's still there. That's my next grand plan. Also, I asked about hashtags and then completely didn't pay attention, so let's see. Barely base game. Uh, it is... That is cute. It's not just a base game challenge, though, so I'm not sure about using that one. The little wine holder turn around and size up for pause. Oh, I wish I had seen that one. I'm gonna try that. Um. Bear with me. I like that one. That's cute. Let's... Oh look, it's gone. Abracadabra. Bippity boppity boo. All those other magical things. Yay, don't you love when things actually work? Okay. Um, ooh, I want to try the wine rack thingy. Decorations. All of a sudden I'm blind. Oh, I'm already there. That's why I'm blind. Okay. That is a base game object, and it is... Is it not a sculpture? Is it a clutter item? I'm wearing glasses. It shouldn't be this difficult. Okay. Let's go here. This. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn it around, scale it up. Can I use Alt to place it? It doesn't want to place with Alt. What if I go down? They will be different color toes, but I'm not against different color toes. 
I mean, like on a human, maybe, but not on a bear. Oh no, it's sticking out the other side. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Look at little toes. Okay, do we like the little wine toes? I think it's cute because it's like some of the buttons popped off and then they fixed it later. Uh, Victoria, welcome. So the challenge is, it's a shell challenge, it's a teddy bear. So that's about all there is to say about that right now. We're voting on toe beans, which are currently wine bottles. I like that there's a yellow one because it matches the yellow bow, but then the other ones look like they got replaced or something. And the wine bottle colors don't matter, so or they don't change, so it's fine. I'll double check and make sure that hashtag bear with me isn't already a thing too, but I, I do like that one. That's cute. Alright, well nobody else is saying anything about the toes and I like them, so this was a fantastic idea. Just copy that. How big does it need to be? Make sure you get- oopsie. One more. I think that's right. Okay. Oops. Yay. Okay. It does need a pad for the rest of the foot. But, uh, I haven't seen anything that I feel like would work very well for that yet. Almost, what does the back of this look like sized up? Mm, I don't know about that. It really should be something that just mounts on the wall, though, since we want to be able to use this, like, one normal size, um, room. One of those. Uh, I can't use a rug, I don't use tool. Which, the window that we used earlier, we used a lot of windows earlier. This one, I can't scale that up appropriately, so that's not going to work. Um, Oh, I could- well, this might work, though. I just want to make it brown so it matches his little foot. Alright, so that's an option. Or maybe this- no, actually, that one's wider. I like that one better. What do you think about that one? Um, it was a pentagon. Pentagon? Pentagon window? Do I have a pentagon window? I have this, but I'm not gonna use that one. I like the little- I like these. I think I'm gonna stick with those. It's a nice big window, especially since getting windows other places might be a little bit of a challenge. Um, I think I'm gonna stay away from debug for this one as well. Just personal preference, when I put challenges out I prefer to make them as accessible to as many players as possible. Alright, sticking with the windows. And I'm letting you guys decide where you're putting the doors on this one. But, let's- Go through and do a last wall check. I think I'm gonna go through and remove the walls and make sure nothing breaks too much. But this first level, this is totally buildable. That's totally fine. The second level, you might have some... What am I holding? I'm holding Alt, that's why it's not doing anything. Uh, there might be some lighting issues. But how did I get the platform there again? Um, but you can build out rooms, which should make the lighting issues go away. And it's just because we can't have a ceiling on those. What happened? Why is the wall missing? Okay, well, that's back. Um, you could place... Apparently that just has to stay like that. That's... Oh, because the floor's not there. Oh my goodness. 
What have I done to myself? Fill the floor. I just wanted to make sure that the rooms would all still work as rooms. Okay, looks like that's all still working as a room. I don't know about this little tail guy clipping in. It must just be because it doesn't count this as an enclosed space. Oh, the ceiling was gone. Nope, that didn't work. I don't know. Um, let's see. Columns to outline the pause. I will look into that. This is just TikTok talking me, telling me to take a break. I'm not going to take a break because I can only be live for about 20 more minutes. Your wife plays The Sims and is obsessed with it. I can, I can tell. I, I know why. It's, a, it's really hard to break out of, and you're getting into it slowly. Well, good luck. <laughs> Continuing with the slowness. It'll suck you in. Alright, so we do have a roof here that's clipping in that is a bit of a bummer. Um, the only solution for that would be to grab one of these guys instead. Which isn't, like, fantastic. It's not terrible either. Why don't you guys decide that? You can again change the roof pieces and whatever. No worries. There, let's... Move. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We can't do that here. Should still be able to remove these though. Yeah, okay. So, for your safety, I recommend not removing any of the walls that currently exist. Uh, but you can add walls and move stuff around, just none of the um, exterior walls can change. You checked the bear with me hashtag, and only two things are posted. Okay, cool. If anyone complains about it not being functional, they can build their own bear. You know, that's kind of my attitude too, but <laughs> I try to be nice about it. <laughs> okay, um, do I need those diagonal walls? Maybe not. Maybe we don't need those. It doesn't change really anything. Okie dokie. This is this it? Are we done? Oh, I accidentally painted these walls also the same color as the bear. I'd rather they not be that, but I don't I don't think I have like cardboard walls, which would be fun for like a little box. We have classified newspaper. We have like kids' room sort of wallpapers. I mean, you can change all this too, but that'll work. Why is the one toe yellow? Um, that is because these are actually the wine bottle objects sized up. So there's that. Uh, and I thought that it looks almost like the bear came with yellow toes. Where'd the bow go? Did I accidentally delete the bow? Well, I can find that again. Uh, anyway, because it goes with the bow, which we were using the yellow one of, there we go, and then the other ones like got replaced or something, so there's this little bow back. There we go. Okay, yes. Fantastic. Delightful. It's a cute little bear. Uh, you get, you can change the toes, the windows, like all that stuff. The only thing that really has to stay for the challenge uh, would be the actual walls making up the teddy bear. If you want to mess with the roof, go for it. I, you have my blessing, you also have my warning. <laughs> so, run with that if you want to. But like, you can change out the eyes and everything, and again, the list of what I have um, is linked through the website, so I can show you that as well if you're interested. What is this? A playground? It could be a playground. You'd probably want to put it on a slightly larger lot. Um, some people are saying toy store. I think it'd be fun for like a rec center or something like that too, or just a house. Let's pop on the gallery and check out and see what's actually on that hashtag. If some, if it's like recent builds, then I won't use it, but if it's like a year old or something, then I'm not against grabbing that hashtag. Or just putting Sam on it somewhere. A daycare? That would be delightful. I don't know how I'd feel about sending my kid to a daycare <laughs> shaped like a giant teddy bear, but you know. Bear with me. So 
we have this one, which looks like it was from 2017, so that's fine. And this one from 2020. Okay, so I'm not concerned. We can use the bear with me hashtag. I think that'll be cute. Cool. Can you put on a larger lot? Yes, absolutely. So um, I just have a few more minutes here, so I'm going to let you know all of the rules and everything real quick. I'll show you where you can find a list of the packs that I own. And I am going to probably upload this to YouTube as well so that those people can join in the challenge too. So if you missed anything, if you want to see how the build came together, you can watch that. It'll be up on YouTube. So this is the build. The rules are you can't change any of the walls that make up the bear. You can change the roof, you can change the windows, you can change the paint, you can change the decorations, um, you can change the basement, like all that stuff. But the walls that actually make up the bear have to stay. You can paint it whatever colors you want. It could be rainbow, it could be black and white, it could like literally anything, make Yogi Bear if you want to, that could be fun. Um, but the walls that are there currently have to stay where they are. You can't add like more external walls or anything. So like basic shell challenge rules, just it's a teddy bear. <laughs> and then we're gonna use the hashtag bear with me. So I'll upload this to the gallery. I should be able to just do that right now. So we're gonna do this one, hashtag bear with me. Oh, I can't do a hashtag in there will be bear with me shell. Can I add challenge? Almost. Challenge. Okay, bear with me shell. And I'll put the rules down here. Um, any existing rules and... Upload with hashtag bear with me. Did I spell everything correctly? Don't you? I think so. Close enough. Okie dokie. So, um, in two weeks from today, I'll go live again on TikTok and we'll look at as many of these as we can. If you want to make sure that you stay within the packs that I have, you can use the link in my bio to get to my website, which looks something like this. It's basically a link tree at this point, um, and you can click this one, my packs and recommendations, which will bring you to this chart here, um, which shows all the packs that I currently, oops, all the packs I currently have, uh, what I like best about them. Cass is not a column because I'm in there like never. Packs I'll be purchasing soon, so next time there's a sale, these are the packs that I plan on getting because we reached the coffee goals, and then these are the packs I don't have, so if you use any of these things, I can't guarantee it'll show up in the build when I look at them on Wednesday. So I'll post a couple of follow-up TikToks as well, just to make sure everybody's aware of the bear. But yeah, thank you again, everybody, for 50 plus thousand followers on TikTok. It's pretty exciting. I think some of the windows down below might be a little off, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, I'm going to upload this to YouTube as well, so anybody who wants to see the building process and may have missed it, can check that out. So before I go, are there any other questions? I have like 10 minutes left. Oh, thank you everybody for following too, and the likes, oh my gosh. <laughs> new like goal, or no, new like goal, new like record, that one. Can we see the interior? Yes. So I don't have anything in the interior. You can swap out anything that's in there, you just can't change the walls. So the, the top two stories, honestly, pretty standard. This one might give you some issues, and this one with all of the curved walls. Or you can just pretend they don't exist. Um, and then this is the basement, which is probably the most normal shape, which is funny to say, but it is. You can get Jungle Adventure free tomorrow. I, yes, I linked my accounts, so hopefully, hopefully, I'll have those packs free. Um, and I think, are those forever, or is that just like a temporary thing? I don't remember. Hello. Um, can you add a door? You can add literally anything. It's just basic shell challenge rules. You cannot change any of these walls, and you can't add any walls to the outside. If you were to add like an additional structure, like a shed or a greenhouse, I'm not going to complain about that. But you can't like change the shape of the bear. Again, you can mess with the roof and stuff if you want to. Um, but it's, is it free from the 11th to 18th, or is it like free forever if you pick it up from the 11th to 18th? 
that's what I'm that's what I'm not sure about. But at the very least, I'll make a couple of videos while I have the packs and then probably feel compelled to buy them after the fact. The house is a bear. Yes. Yes, it is. Free forever if you pick it up in that window. Fantastic. That's amazing. That's really exciting. I don't know. I don't. I just. I'm not in gameplay like ever. I just love building. But I am very excited to see some of those jungle adventure uh, plant items. And I saw someone do like a really cool butterfly garden sort of thing with some butterfly plants I guess you can catch. Or was that outdoor retreat? I don't remember. I get them crossed out. But I'm excited about that. Um. I think a lot placed in starting now. Thank you again for all of your help today, Heather. I genuinely appreciate I don't remember what exactly you said, I just remembered that I really appreciated it. So thank you. And thanks to everybody else again for all of the help. Um, if there aren't any other questions, then I'm going to head out and go get my kid from school. They do like it when you do that. Can you turn the exterior walls into half walls but keep the same shape? <sighs> um... Technically, I would say yes, however, you can only do that with the straight walls. You can't do half walls on curbs. Um, there we go. So you can remove the wall, which you're not allowed to do, or replace it with a fence, which you're not allowed to do, per the challenge rules, um, but you can't actually replace it with a half wall. Traditional shell challenge rules say that you can replace some full walls with half walls, I think, but. I wouldn't advise it in this case just because it's probably going to mess things up um, even worse than they already are. So hopefully that kind of sort of maybe answered some of your question. So I would I would be shocked if you could do half walls and not just like completely break things. <laughs> Did I decorate the inside? No, that's your job. I, I built a bear, <laughs> okay? That was a lot of work. It's your turn now. So, good, uh, good luck with that. I do think the round belly is, it's cute. I think that was a good idea. I'm so thankful for the round walls. I just wish they worked a little bit better. Oh, well. So, yeah, what is, what is today? Hang on, let me bring up a calendar. So today is the 10th, so that will be the 24th of May. So the 24th of May at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, maybe 12.30, we'll see, 12.30 or 1 o'clock, um, I'll go live and look at as many as I can. So on the gallery, the build is Bear With Me Shell, there it is, and then you'll upload it with the hashtag Bear With Me, so I can find those all together. I think this will be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with for this one. I wish I could have roofed his tail without it clipping in, but oh well. But if you guys figure out how to do it, or if you just sort of block off that area, that'd be cool. Who built this? This was me! <laughs> I built this, Stephanie! This is what I've spent the last about hour and a half working on. We started out the flamingo, but it didn't work. You design houses and accidentally send a bear instead of your house plants. <laughs> that reminds me of the people, I'm sure you've seen this on the internet, right? Where it's like this person d delivered a photo on a thumb drive and then they took a photo of the thumb drive and put that on the cake instead of the photo that was like a file on the thumb drive. That's what that sounds like to me. Okie dokie. Well, I do have to go get the kid from school, so thank you guys all for hanging out with me today, for all the suggestions. Again, the shell is on the gallery um, as Bear With Me Shell. My gallery ID is Salmon Bean. Same as here, just all one word. Uh, you can you can make it look like any historically relevant bear that you want to. That would be super duper fun. Um, yeah, well, I started around 1 and I spent about the first 15 minutes wasting my time on a flamingo. <laughs> now it's quarter to three, so yeah, so you can find that there, put it up, make sure you use the hashtag bear with me so that we can find them, and then on the, oh shoot, I don't remember numbers, 
what did I say? On the 24th. On May 24th, that is a Wednesday, I'll be live uh, looking over everything, so it'll be about two weeks. If you want more updates, I recommend joining the Discord channel, and I think that's about all I have to say. So thank you again for hanging out. This was a lot of fun, and it turned out way better than I would have expected. So thank you. Have a great afternoon or evening or whatever, and happy building!